Good morning. Uh, joining us now, we have Colorado head coach J.R. Payne and student athletes Quinessa K. Lodell and Maya Hollingshed. Coach, if you would start with an opening statement, please. All right. Well, first, I'd like just like to say how excited we are to be here um, at Pac-12 Media Day, and uh, we're just thrilled to get the day going. Um, about the University of Colorado women's basketball team, I'm really excited about where we are right now. Uh, but the cool thing is that I'm really even more excited about who we are right now. Um, our team faced a lot of adversity last year in just a ton of injuries um, and different things throughout the season. But I think that that's been an incredible motivator for our team throughout the summer. A large portion of our team spent the entire summer in Boulder uh, training and, and really getting ready. And so we feel very prepared and, and truly excited for the upcoming season. She is officially gone, but the, the good thing is she's officially a fantastic pro now uh, in Germany. Yeah, well, well, the, the, I'm the type of person that is always looking for the blessing in the storm. You know, so, so while we wanted Kennedy to be healthy and, and would have been a more experienced ball club with her in the lineup last year, um, the blessing is that we had an incredible opportunity for a lot of young players to step up um, and play key contributing minutes that, that simply just wouldn't have been available uh, without that injury. Um, but, but there were times throughout last season due to several injuries that actually these two on stage really carried us, you know, offensively, defensively from a leadership standpoint. And so, uh, so the great thing is that, that we actually do have a lot of experience even through the struggle, you know, of injuries last season. Hi, Kevin Dana, Stanford Radio. Uh, this is for uh, Quinessa and Maya. Uh, do you take a look at the preseason poll scene uh, being picked to finish 12th? Do you see that and take that as motivation, or do you not pay attention to it? Uh, I think it's exciting. I think it's really motivating for the team, especially for the younger players and the culture that we have created. I think it will upset a lot of people, and we're looking forward to being good this season. So. Going off with what she said, I totally agree with that. But also, it's like we're really focused on just making each other better every day. So we're really not really focused on what everybody else is talking about. Um, so we're really just getting in the gym every day and just working hard to be a better ball club every day. Uh, Conessa, <clears throat> since you're the only senior on the team, now the, you know, the de facto leader, what has it been like taking on that leadership role? And um, what do you expect from yourself as a leader? Uh, I think it's been a good experience. I think it allows me to step up. I feel like even last year, I was the only person in my my class. So I feel like it's just a good opportunity, especially for me, having experience and being able to help the younger players, too, and giving them knowledge, too. And I think just everyone is being able to step up. So I'm just not the only person that's going to be a leader on the team. You, what did you work on uh, this summer to improve your game? Uh, for sure the weight room and uh, my outside game, so just shooting threes and my pull-ups, so just shooting more. Awesome. Maya, how about for you? Uh, everything, really. Everything <laughs> a part of my game is it needs to get better. So weight room, outside, inside, making moves off the bounce, moving off the ball, everything. Who's the strongest player on your team in the weight room? Ooh. It's either, got, it's between like three people. Okay, but okay. before we go there, let's say, so we have this thing that, we, that we're really 
is like a big deal for us in the weight room. We want everyone on our team to be in the plate club. Um, the plates meaning the 45s, and right. you got to be able to bench plates. Like, that's a big deal for us. We print T-shirts and, you know, all that stuff. When we first got to Colorado, we might have had maybe two players, you know, in the plate club. It just, you know, wasn't as big of a priority. I think now we only have one or two that are not you know, in the plate club. So we've actually gotten a lot stronger. But as far as who's the strongest? Uh, like Jaylen. Annika Jank. Yeah. Jalen. She's a freshman, but she came in really strong. She works out with football players, so. And then Peanut, that's just, you know. And Kai. We and Kai. have really strong oh my kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Coach, for you, what excites you most about this team heading into the 2019-20 season? I, I just, I'm in love with my team. I mean, we have we have an incredible group. That's why I said I'm excited about who we are. Uh, we're a group that is very, uh, like Maya kind of said, like really dedicated to each other, you know, right now. So we're at a place where we, we have great accountability within our team. Um, people are pushing each other really to be the very best that they can be. Um, you know, we're challenging each other, and, and uh, we've just got tremendous energy. And sometimes youth is not a bad thing. Sometimes youth gives you sort of that youthful energy to, you know, to keep going and, and really try to get better every day. Yeah, well, one thing that I'm going to really like about this team um, is that we'll have a little bit more spread out, you know, as far as productivity. Uh, we, we need to be better defensively this year. Uh, we really struggled to, to get stops when we needed to consistently. Um, so that's an area that as a group we're pouring a lot of attention to from the coaching staff. Um, and, then, and then the other thing that's really important that we're continuing to try to instill and really get our team to understand is that discipline is unbelievably important for this group. You know, when you've had uh, some real playmakers in, in Leonard and Robinson, there were times when it kind of is like, give the ball to Lexi and just let her go to work. You know, and she could do that. So that, that was sort of her makeup. Um, and same with Ken. But, but with this group, we, we have the potential to have a lot of great scoring options on the floor at different times. But in order to really establish that, we've got to be disciplined in what we do. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of like my public speaking class and just uh, practicing like interviews. So I just took a class last semester, so it was like professional and calm. So it's just like, how do you answer questions? How do you handshake people? So I feel like it's just, it's just like applying to media day today, so. One more from the 253. Do you get home very much? Uh, not too often, no. but uh, my family comes to like all the games. Like my mom, she tries to come to every game that I have, so I get to see her more often. So it feels like I am at home. Okay, Tacoma to Boulder is kind of a hard commute. That is impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it about having your family close that makes your Boulder experience even better? Um, I feel like it's really cool, but I think that my teammates too and the coaches they really help me feel like they're a family too so it's kind of like I have like my second family with me all the time and then I talk to my mom all the time and like my little brothers so especially when they come it's just like it's just really exciting just having them all home Mirrorport.com. I'm just curious. You guys play the highest elevation of any team with the Pac-12. <laughs> Do you guys actually notice that when you play teams, that that's a real advantage for you when other teams come into your building? Yeah, there's there's places all throughout the building where it reminds you that you are at 5,345 <laughs> feet. Like it's it's scripted everywhere. Uh, but do you want to? Um, yes and no. Like sometimes when we play teams, like they'll keep up. Like I'm like y'all aren't, aren't tired yet, but. Sometimes it hits them like we see like little they have like the little tanks on their benches just in case like anybody you know passes out or they can't handle the elevation like they have it all set up so we're good on our end but it's just really I cool to see it, other yeah. teams. I think it's good going to other places like going away from us so like if we're in like Washington or something we're at sea level so I feel like we breathe a lot easier out there. One of the days. <laughs>
Jared, looking from a national perspective, do you see where Sabrina coming into this year has kind of become the, the face of women's college basketball and potentially even kind of the face of college basketball just kind of with the name recognition for coming into this season? Oh, yeah, certainly. I mean, anytime you can, you can name an athlete and everybody knows who you're talking about with just their first name, um, it's a pretty big deal. You know, it's like you talk about Kobe, you talk about Sabrina. Um, so I, I think it's remarkable to have a woman of that caliber um, in our conference, um, you know, and then, you know, it's for us to be able to play against someone like that. And, and I love that Sabrina celebrates, you know, all of the other great teams in our league. She's a great ambassador for our sport. Shed. I know you love music. What do you have in your beats or your, you know, little uh, iPhone? What gets you going before a game or practice? Really everything, but I I play it all. We just put it on the speaker and we just dance to anything. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but I like country music a little bit, so I'll play a little bit of that, but not all the time, but it's just a little dabble, but <laughs> that's it. Any more questions? Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Vanessa and Maya, you're done. Go Buffs. We also have Thanks, everyone. Um, Colorado SID, Seth Pringle, if you need anything, he'll be around as well.